Hello everybody and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. So today we are back unexpectedly. Normally we don't do Hello Neighbor on Sundays hardly ever unless there's an update, but today is a special day because PAX is happening. So if you happen to see this video and you're at PAX, even if you're not subscribed, come and check out my panel today on Hello Neighbor with the, pr the head developer and one shot girl. We're going to be talking about this beautiful game and having ourselves a great time. Um, but yeah. Just, just come on by. Come and have fun. Or if you're just in Seattle in general, just hit me up on Twitter and you can come and meet me. Even if you're not coming to PAX, because I'd love to meet some of you guys out there. But let's go ahead and stop spouting nonsense and get to what it is that we're supposed to be doing today. So we have our crowbar we need to get to. Um, and generator's already turned off, so we have that. So I just need to go get the crowbar and uh, go through the basement door. Right? Right? Game? Please don't break my heart. Okay, I think I gotta go in here. Now the neighbor is awake and alive. So, we'll see if he decides to pay us a visit. So I got that one. Now I just need to do this. There we go. I don't know where he's at. So I'm kind of a little bit concerned. But at the same time, I don't really care that much. I heard him. I heard him. I don't know where he's at. But I'm doing this. Oh, I heard him. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> I heard him. I heard him. These stupid cameras are kind of a pain. All right, so we just need to... Oh, there he is. He was outside. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You got me. You got me, buddy. All right, so once I get through this basement door, then, then we know everything to do. We're an expert at that point. What? What are you doing? You're just breaking stuff now. Now this is just entirely on yourself. I just need to grab your key card. So if you could just waddle your little self back inside that door. He was running. Why was he running? I'm running. You are such a cheater, okay? I don't know how you did it, but somehow you have like sensor pads going on here. How about you do some stretching? Do some stretching. Stretch it up. Watch. See? He's got... <laughs> what are you yelling for? I I think we've broken the neighbor. Okay. We have our jump to get away. So we're just going to shoot him. We're just going to go push him away. Open the door. All right. Push him away. There we go. Grab the stupid key card. Now... I'm gonna shoot him some more. Okay, now all we need to do is just walk our way backwards in there, shoot him, and then jump away from him, and we'll be in the basement after I open the door. Okay, we've got this. We've got this. We've got this. Alright, try and grab me. Grab me, grab me, grab me, grab me. Do it. Do it, man. There we go. Okay, now we just gotta we gotta get the right one. Boop, boop. Open! Open! It won't open! God! Just open, you stupid door. You go away. I don't even care. I'm running for this basement door. You got all your crap in the way, and I can't move it. Go away. I just want in here. Yes! How does that feel, neighbor? Does it feel good? I don't think it does, because I know from experience it doesn't feel good to lose like that, you big loser. Okay. <laughs> we did it. Now, we just gotta rush our way through this. Now, we know how to do this bit, so we should be fine. I'm not gonna make that. Nope. Okay, back down to the bottom. Back down we go. Back down to the starts. Good God. This is going to take forever, isn't it? I'm gonna mess up about a million times. Luckily, the second part is pretty easy. There's no real, like, messing up unless I forget to get an umbrella somehow, uh, which I won't do. Okay, but this part is just kind of tricky. You just gotta, mm -mm, and then hope, just hope. Maybe I should have turned more with it, but I think I made it. Okay, we got a mate, we made it. So now what we have to do is we just have to wait for him to either get stuck, like so, he should be stuck now. Yeah, yep. Right? You're stuck? Yep, he's stuck. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just 
making sure. Just double checking myself right there. Okay, we got him stuck, and we're good to go. Oh boy, it feels good to make some progress. It feels good. Eh, go. Uh, do I? I do. I do. We come with that uh, automatically. So we don't have to have our jump away or whatever it is. The stealth. That's not important. We don't need the stealth. Um, which is the one we skipped because you can there's like one way to skip it And I somehow managed to do that in this run through because I was in just such a hurry So we did skip that and now I can throw it right is that supercharged? That is supercharged. Okay, so now we got to go up this way Okay, and it's right down there Yes Okay, so now it's just me and the shadowy man. So all we have to do here is just make a break for it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run. We're just gonna. Oh, that was freaky. That was freaky. He made a freaky sound. I didn't like it. Okay. Really, I messed up on something on this one that time around. I don't know. I thought I just went fast, but I guess not. Don't I just jump over like this? Eh. Oop. Whoa, okay, he's coming. Oh, I thought he didn't see us, but he definitely saw us. Okay, look at my bed shaking. Okay, can I grab some of this stuff? Give me my hat. I'm just gonna get the, get all my, I gotta grab my stuff. Hey, don't break anything yet. I'm just collecting my stuff. Okay, so if we come over here, he'll start to do his thing. Here he comes. And now something very peculiar. Listen very closely. Listen very closely to what's about to happen from this freaky buddy of ours. Just do it. Just do it. We're waiting on you. Just waiting on you. Come on. There it is. That scream. Isn't that awfully familiar? Isn't that awfully familiar? Now, I think that supports the theory that he's our brother. Personally. Maybe that makes sense. Maybe it doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know. We'll see. Um, <laughs> anyways, let's go ahead and get ourselves a beat neighbor here. Boink. Oh, nailed it. First try. Okay, so what we have to do here, um, a lot of people were having difficulties with this, and I think we were the first ones to solve it. We actually solved it before uh, the <laughs> update even came out, which was kind of cool. Um, but I, I know this one pretty well. I've spent a few hours in here. Like, don't believe that that, uh, that first time solving it took just a few minutes. No, it took a while. It took a little while. All right, so what we got to do is go up here. Do -do -do -do. And a double jump. I do. I, why couldn't I double jump? Alright, I'm kind of confused as to why I couldn't double jump there. It's not my fault. Definitely not my fault. Nope. Nope. Nothing's ever my fault. Okay, I think it's because I double jumped into the toaster and that break things. So I need to not double jump into the toaster and also go into the other side of the toaster. That was kind of a mistake, too. But whatever. We'll get back there. Pronto. Here we go. Okay, let me double jump on top of the toaster. There we go, and then drop into it. Perfect. And I'm on this side, so I should just fly straight up to it. So it's not even a worry. Ta-da! Alright, then we flip this. And we go down here. Uh, yep. Why don't I have double jump right now? I do have double jump. Why is it not letting me double jump? What is going on here? Some sort of nonsense is happening here. And I don't like it. Okay, we're back up here. Is the thing down there? It's down there. Okay, so what I gotta do is just boink. Then I'll drop down to this one. And then down to this one. Aha! Now we just hitch a ride to the top. As soon as we get this umbrella, then we're just set to go. That's all we need is the umbrella. Um, and I kind of have a lot of items here. Totally unnecessary. But I just, I really wanted to grab our guitar and have ourselves fun time but uh, we'll just throw these out that hole that hole is not real it's a fake hole oh, I think I broke something there they do not like this ride <laughs> they are not fans of this ride okay now I can just go ahead and use this guitar break okay guitar doesn't fit uh, skateboard doesn't work hat so does the hat work the hats the one that works the other two are too fat they're too wide all right jump through the window now get ready get ready get ready Boink. Here we go. Here we go. This one right above us. This one right above us. Yes. Okay. So, uh, first things first, I 
probably should have done the cart first, actually. Um, that's first things first, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Uh, so let's go over here, set the cart off, then we gotta get inside of that house. Um, and get ourselves the candle to set up the firework. That's the first step. Other than that, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it would seem it doesn't matter, at least. And the Mentos, totally unessential, doesn't matter at all. Okay, boop. Do your thing, cart. There you go. All right, and we're going to go ahead and just start heading back. We don't even need to see what it does, but we'll watch it anyways because it looks kind of cool. <laughs> All right, do your thing, cart. Blow up the house. Yeah. So the cart actually goes in a random direction. Sometimes it lands inside of there, and sometimes it lands elsewhere on the map, which is kind of weird uh, that that thing has physics, and then everything else disappears. I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me that it's all on an animation and then suddenly at the end it has physics. Just an odd little bit of information there. Totally not essential to anything at all. Okay. Here we go. Back up to the top. And there we go. So we just need to get him knocked down enough to where I can umbrella my way over to the back house there. And I don't know if we have a proper ending here. Do we, Mr. Neighbor Man? Miss your neighbor, man. I don't know. We're gonna see. We're gonna see if they added the door back. Because it's they don't actually have the door in the Steam version. Which is what I was referring to. Okay, here we go. Da, da, da. Now just don't get ourselves killed here. If I can live through this bit, then we'll be fine. Because then we just have one more thing to finish off. So, set that on fire. Do do. There we go. Alright. Perfect, perfect. Some people were struggling with that too. I think <laughs> um, over on Game Theory, they actually watched the, our, our boss video on the live stream and they were having some troubles with these. Um, and yeah, the door isn't there in the Steam versions, but the fireworks do work. You just, you don't click on it or anything. You just try and put the flame to the thing. It's kind of weird. I don't know. It doesn't really make sense, but it works the same as the bow does. Okay, so just two more things we need to do. Then we just reset ourselves back to the top. Here we go. I have this whole thing memorized, everybody. It's perfect. <laughs> I have memorized. Whoa! Whoops! <laughs> I did not mean to go up the pipe. Um, I got the whole boss fight memorized, though, so we're totally set. So now we're going to hit him with the ball and then go down and do the bow. That's just the order that I do it in. It doesn't actually make any difference. This is just easier, I guess. So let's get our Niflick balls. Ugh. Push that ball. There we go. All right, neighbor. Get ready. Get ready to feel the burn. Feel the pain. It's coming for you. Eventually. <laughs> Very slowly. There we go. We hit his knee. Alright, so on to the last one. We have our candle for this one. Uh, don't drop your candle. Here we go. Burn that up. Ooh, boom. Got him. Last one. Alright, so now we just need to make our way back over there. And you can see it's even with the blue platform on the side, which is sort of... Uh, the jumping on point, I guess. I think they're probably gonna add more to this boss fight. I don't think it's quite finished yet. Um, but that's sort of like, just it's like a marker point. So that you can tell, um, you know, when you can jump in it, I guess. Da -da. Da -da. Okay, make it. Yes. All right. Now we are good to go. We have got this. We just gotta fly over to our neighbor friend and call it yes so i think this is like our fourth time entering the house um maybe if i actually go to the gramophone we might get a little bit more air which might be a little bit safer if i can make it Ooh, that was close that was very close oh well doesn't matter anyways i jumped off at the wrong point but i think i should be able to make it still right just just do your lean thing at just the right time for me there it is there it is buddy yeah <laughs> See, we're on another level of communication, me and the neighbor. But we made it into our house. We beat the game, finally. We know how to do all of the stuff properly. <laughs> properly, when this stuff works properly and our magnet gun actually spawns into the game, we know how to do it properly. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and end things there for today. We're riding our giant neighbor buddy. Next time, we'll be back with some more interesting stuff. Uh, not just the main game. I'm excited to get back to that sort of stuff. Because uh, I have some interesting stuff that I want to check out. And also, we're going to mess around with the neighbor a little bit. Because apparently, with the new trainer update, we can uh, grow and shrink our neighbor and ourselves. 
So that, we're gonna have a little bit of fun with that. We have to. We have to. <laughs> um, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Hello Neighbor. Again, if you are at PAX, come stop by. Say hello. I would love to meet all of you. Um, or if you're in Seattle, again, just hit me up on Twitter. There's all the links and information in the description below. That's gonna be it for today, though, buddy. Hope you guys have enjoyed.